Hey there everybody and welcome back to Boneco Tarot. I'm here to give you a report for this Sunday's solstice solar eclipse. It's a biggie and I made a whole bunch of notes so I'm just going to throw them at you and you do what you will with them. First of all, this solar eclipse is happening in Cancer, June 21st, 2020. And it will be exact at 2.48, 2.41 a.m. So, um, theoretically, you're sleeping, or maybe you're, I guess, you know, you could be up partying. So maybe we're actually kind of experiencing this on the Saturday night. What the solstice is, is the sun appears to stand still for about three days, the longest day of the year, and this is why it starts out in Cancer. Uh, moon is the ruler of Cancer, and Cancer rules the mother, Cancer rules home, all of that kind of stuff will be part of the deep themes. We're going to feel this kind of dynamic where we're kind of torn between what we want to do and what we have to do. Freedom versus restrictions. That's Saturn's influence. There's magic, playful energy, tension energy. This eclipse can be seen in Ethiopia, Yemen, India, China, that sort of thing. I like to I like to check out this um, this other little sliver of astrology called the Sabian symbols. Uh, basically, this person had uh, gone into meditation and meditated on all the degrees of the zodiac to get an impression or like a sentence that basically just kind of sums up an idea. So the Sabian symbol for uh, number one cancer, so the first degree of cancer, is a furled and unfurled flag displayed from a vessel. So, as I've done a little bit of research, what this could actually point to, which is kind of interesting in the global political arena, is that this could signify a big shift in political power that is obfuscated by propaganda. So, Maybe that's something that will be revealed by the next full moon or another full moon that corresponds exactly to this particular eclipse, which, because I'm not an astrologer, I don't know. When the sun conjuncts the moon, this signifies a fresh start, points in destiny that pivot us in a completely new direction. It's really quite magical. One thing is for sure, there is no going back now. You might even see this as a major turning point in your life. Because the beauty of all this is, is that the sacrifices that we make now are actually going to help us not only leave behind all the toxic crap that we've been carrying up until now, and be able to actually ground the new patterns, the new healthy patterns that we're diligently trying to establish in our lives. And we'll get an opportunity to ground those things when we get to the fall. So I'll have more detailed information per sign, but I hope you found this little nugget of astrology helpful. My best advice would be to continue to surf these difficulties and challenges with a fluid perspective polish up that surfboard. And hey there Aquarius, here's your very special, very specific reading. Um, the first little bits that I will tell you are very specific astrology for Aquarius, and that is that you could see this eclipse bring you new responsibilities on the job, but you're also focusing on strengthening your house. So, um, you know, and you're going to be doing that for at least a month and a half, uh, especially as you work through Mercury Retrograde in your same house. So um, make your smoothies and pull out that yoga mat. I should talk. All right, so Aquarius, I'm going to pull a few cards for you. I'm starting out with my Oracle deck today, and uh, I've been getting some very interesting results for everybody. So uh, the first card is going to be for... Um, the energy that was that that was present just before the eclipse, the energy of the eclipse, and then the energy as a result of the eclipse. 
So one more card. All right, so surrounding energies for Aquarius. Talking smack. Are we gossiping a little bit? Um, he's just talking, you know, uh, to Pisces about gossip in their world. So I don't know what's going on, but, you know, um, yeah. So live wire. You could be on the phone, like, engaging in a lot of gossip. Um, smooth and easy is your second. So, yeah, this eclipse isn't even touching you. And, like, really, when you think about it, right, it's like, you know, the other signs have got some heavy stuff. Not every sign is going to get hit the same when it comes to an eclipse or solstice, for that matter. But, you know, we're talking to new responsibilities, new job, and in COVID, it's like how fast and how demanding is that of you really right now? Um, and focus on strengthening house. Smooth and easy. Smooth these and easy. So, uh, yeah. And then uh, laser beam. Who's going to have some laser sharp insight as a result of the energies? There could, there could also be other astrological influences, but I don't know. Maybe as a result of some gossip that you received, you know exactly where to focus some of your energies. I don't know. What do I know? It's general reading. It's your reading. What's your story? Okay, so I'm going to get two cards for each one of the oracle. And we'll see what happens. the sun card baby so somebody's happy um you know yeah maybe maybe you got haters that are talking smack about you Pfft, whatever okay so um in the past position, you have the Ace of Pentacles, so some sort of new beginning that may have been associated with uh, Sagittarius, but it could also just be sort of a new beginning in your level of patience um, and contemplation. Smooth and easy. Well, okay. Yeah, you may... Um, you may have somebody coming at you who's been talking behind your back. He's got a bone to pick with you. Um, but you're smooth and easy about it. You know, you're like being super chill. Super chill. You know, it's just not getting to you like it used to. And so, for the future, yeah, you got the tower. Whoo! And the wheel. Well, son of a bitch. Beam me up, Scotty. You know? Um, but, wow. It's going to make you happy. It's really, like, it's something is going to crash. But it's going to lead to you seriously being really happy could have something to do with a lover they could be a fire sign it could be something related to work you see it in the distance and you're going for it you're definitely definitely going for it so let's take a Lenormand card yeah <clears throat> this is static the talking smack yeah it's like entanglement but ultimately somebody has your back 
So, you know, uh, so there could be like, you know, like a little crowd, you know, talking crap about you and there's one person who's present for it and they're like, yeah, that's not how I feel. It's not nice of you to say that about my Aquarius friend. You know, could be a real redemption for you. All right, so what does the Lenormand have to say? Ooh, yeah, look at that. Looks like you could be traveling. Uh, we've got, um, let me see here. So that's four, that's ten of spades. Ten. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with that interpretation. This ship is, is, is a very good card in the Lenormand deck. And, you know, it shows movement out of a situation or just travel, you know, or foreign lands of some sort. Um, you know, there's a little confusion around the situation because, I mean, well, I mean, there's going to be a bit of a dust cloud with the tower coming down and, you know, got to have the wheel kind of settle in so that you can get clear on what direction you're going to go. But as far as, you know, the haters right now, they can't touch you. They can't touch you. So, uh, Aquarius, if you resonated with this reading so far, um, you can stay with me in the energies as I take it over to Patreon for the extended. The link is just down below. And uh, thanks again for your support. We'll see you again. So we got the Mave of Wands. So, you know, you're definitely making plans. You're not telling anybody about them, though, or you're being really quiet about them. You know, you're you're just, you know, you're kind of just like, yeah, 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 I know what I'm going to do. And, yeah, you're a mystery to everybody, and so are the people around you are kind of a mystery to you, which could be what's giving you the anxiety. You know, it's kind of like, you know, the, uh, the people around you sense that you're keeping something from them or that you're thinking about things that you're not sharing. Um, and so they're kind of doing the same, you know, there's some mirroring happening here.